Hi everyone, it's Rhea with AllOfOurHomes.com. Today I'm going to show you how we transformed our mudroom into a preschool homeschool play area. When we found out that our son's daycare was going to be closed for the summer and into the fall, we got together with a group of friends who had similar aged kids and decided to create a preschool pod. We were able to hire a teacher from our daycare to help out a couple of hours a week. We also used this space trading off back and forth with the other families to watch each other's kids. So it's nice to have it set up for all of these different times. We started this project by emptying out our back mudroom. The room is about nine feet long by seven feet wide. We picked this location for the play area because it has a door leading out to the backyard, which is also next to the bathroom. We already had shelving in that room where we stored all of our outdoor gear for the summer, like bug spray, bike gear, uh, picnic blankets, rain jackets, all that sort of stuff. So we cleared out all of that out as our first step. Then we went through the room to make sure things were childproof since we knew the kiddos would be hanging out here and especially because one of the kids is only 18 months old. Our checklist included making sure all the shelving was secure to the wall. We added a cover to the basement doorknob and we added a sliding cabinet lock to our storage unit. And we also added a retractable gate uh, because of the one 18 month old child who was gonna try to venture into the kitchen. After that, we added in all the things that we needed for the play area. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through what we have on the shelves. Up at the top here, I have three boxes that have like toy overflow. Um, I started to divide them up according to Montessori, uh, but now they just have all sorts of things in them. Um, but I do try to write down the names of everything so that when I'm looking for something, it's easier to find. This last bin is probably the one that the teacher uses the most. It's the arts and crafts bin. And then on this top shelf here, we have more of our just like personal house bins. And then this shelf is clear and open for the teacher or whoever is here to use. We have, you know, as far as like safety precautions, we have gloves. And that's something that our teacher had always used when she was working in the daycare. Whenever she was serving food to the kids or doing a diaper change, she would use a set of gloves. We have some extra face masks in case somebody needs them or forgets one, which I wouldn't imagine happening, but just a good place to have those. Um, and then we have our thermometer for temperature checks for the kids and for parents and the teacher every day. And then this is the cleaning spray it's alcohol 70 percent uh, rubbing alcohol and th that's what we use i would say be careful using that uh, make sure that you ventilate this space when you're using it it's great for high touch surfaces and it's something that the cdc recommends using and i haven't been able to find uh, wipes that are disinfectant wipes anywhere <laughs> near us so and then on this next shelf we have a couple of um, other things that the kids could have access to, like uh, tissues, paper towels, wipes, and then this is these are the snacks. We've got some paper plates in here, and then I just have some different types of snacks. And then beneath that we've got th three different bins. These bins I purchased from Ikea, and they are for laundry, so they've got like a waterproof lining within them, so they're easy to wash out and clean if you need to. And I have a bin that's for clean towels. If they need one like to wipe the kids faces and then one for dirty towels and then these are like changing like diaper changing stuff so I have wipes I have a mat for changing some pull-ups and then below that shelf there are some books and then this is the bin of toys and then coming to this other uh, set of shelves this is the same sort of thing. These are just our household items. We've got some tools in here. And then we have art supplies. Um, and this, I could just take it out for you to see quickly what is in here. We've got crayons and markers and glue and tape, stickers, um, some scissors to practice with. It would be nice to have multiple sets, of course, and we might get there if, if the kids are using them frequently. And then some um, construction paper, some stickers, and then pom-poms. The teacher actually uses pom-poms all the time doing counting exercises and whatnot. And then here's a shelf for 
Um, this is a roll of paper I actually had gotten from Ikea. It's great to have a lot of paper around. Um, but this is a shelf for any sort of art project. It's good, a good place for things to dry off, to be out of the way. And so they were doing some stamping with different paint colors today. Beneath that are puzzles. So I've got several different puzzles here that I just can wipe down at the end. So one with the letters and then this is for, there's a kid or a girl who comes, she's about 18 months, and this sort of puzzle is a bit easier for her to use versus these letter puzzles. So that's something that, you know, just trying to put something that's more of her age range on this shelf while the older kids have like their older puzzles on this shelf. So I'll usually put a few more things here and actually one of the pieces is missing, or maybe two of the pieces are missing from here, so I need to hunt for those. And then this is just an empty basket um, this is these are this is something like just to use to take stuff outside and as far as the seating I mean the really the only sort of furniture that we have in here is we have the bench that is for the teacher to use and this bench is removable if you had bookcases you could probably just put a couple of chairs back there or stools um, whatever would make sense depending on the size of your space and then there are multiple stools down here. We actually have these stepping stools that are um, that we use. One of them we use in the bathroom down here, and the other one we use in the kitchen for our son to be able to access the counter. And so, you know, they're also easy for the kids to use and to wipe off. And so they just use them as a seat. What's nice about this play area is that it's easily convertible back into a mudroom once our son goes back to preschool. And when it's just my son and I, or on the weekends, we use it as a messy zone. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found some useful tips if you're in a similar situation that we are. Bye!